Even though this hedgehog has only got one major fracture, it can only shuffle around. This is because the bones and joints in its other legs are also painful. And that's the result of micro fractures of the very weak bones in its other legs. Let's have a look at the x-rays of this hedgehog. On the left are x-rays of one of the front legs of a normal juvenile hedgehog which does not have metabolic bone disease. On the right we see the x-rays of a hedgehog with metabolic bone disease. In fact these x-rays are those of the hedgehog we've just seen in the film. In the abnormal leg on the right hand side of the screen it's easy to see that there are fractures near to the elbow in both the radius and the ulna. Also the normal radius and ulna have much whiter edges or cortices, like tram lines running down the edges of the bone. On the abnormal leg you can't see that and that is because the amount of calcium in the bone in the abnormal leg is less. Finally, the ends of the bone in the hedgehog with metabolic bone disease mushroom out. In the normal leg, the bones triangulate out a little, but not into a big mushroom shape. The mushrooming out occurs because the bones are very weak here. This mushrooming out is characteristic of a disease called hyperparathyroidism which means that there is too much parathyroid hormone circulating in the bloodstream. If hedgehogs eat diets which are too high in phosphate and too low in calcium, then this leads to too much phosphate and not enough calcium in the bloodstream. Now, if calcium levels in the bloodstream are too low, this can be life-threatening and hence the body responds by dragging calcium out of the bones so it can correct the amount of calcium in the bloodstream. However, as a result of this movement of calcium from the bones into the blood, the bones become very weak or brittle, and hence the fractures and the splaying out at the ends of the bones. So, it is very important to feed diets which are very well balanced. Studies show that mealworms, for example, can contain up to 30 times more phosphate than calcium. Sunflower hearts and peanuts also contain too much phosphate and too little calcium. And so if mealworms, sunflower hearts or peanuts are given to hedgehogs, it could result in bone weakening and fractures. Once calcium in the bones has been depleted, this will not readily be reversed by subsequently increasing calcium in the diet and so it would be expected that pain would continue for a long period of time. This, allied to the likelihood of long-term bone and joint deformity, which in itself would prohibit release, means that euthanasia is the kindest option for these patients.